in this question, when Latif started cycling from his home, Kelly was 90 meters ahead. Okay, so let us just draw a distance timeline. L on top, K below. And when L start, K is already here. And L has to catch up this distance. Okay, so for L, his speed is 5 meter per second. For K, her speed is 1 meter per second. And what distance would Latif have cycled when he caught up with Kelly? Call up means you have a L1, K1. And this is the point where they caught up with each other. Okay. Where they they meet each other. Okay, so what we can do here is that uh again, let's explore our DSD triangle. We have one here for one section of the story. And then we have one here for one section of the story. Okay, so looks like the question mark is this one. So this is the one that we want to find out. And then for L, the speed is DST five and then time unknown as well. So let's put a double question mark. Or we can leave it blank. Okay, we can leave it blank to show that we don't know anything about the time. For K, we don't know the distance. We don't know the time. We still don't know. I mean, we know the speed. Let's put here. Okay, so let's look at what does it really mean by catching up. Okay, so since L has a speed of 5 meter per second, and K has one um is traveling at a speed of one meter per second. That means the difference in the speed is four meter per second. How do you get four meter per second? It's actually five minus one, that is four meter per second. What this means is that in every second, L covers or covered four meter more. Okay, four meter more. So for L to catch up in whatever time that has passed, L need to cover the 90 km more. Okay, it's 90 km. Sorry, it's 90 meter. Yeah, it's 90 meter. My apologies, 90 meter. More. So with this, we can just do a simple calculation, which is time is 90 divided by 4. That is 22 and a half minute more. Sorry, seconds more. Okay. So, in a sense, L actually spent 22 and a half second to cover, to travel from here to here. Twenty two and a half second to travel from here to here. Okay. So, which means that we can actually put 22 and a half inside here. And using the DSD triangle, can you see that to find the distance, we just need to take this times this, taking note that the unit must be correct. So my mistake at the bottom was I was thinking about KM. Okay, and here I was thinking about minutes. And the reason is because when we 
have done many other speed questions. Most of them are in KM as well as minute or hours. Yeah, so this is something that we want to take note as well and be intentional about it. Okay, so after you take five times, 22 and a half is 112.5 meter. Okay, yeah, so turning back time, what I will do is I will also intentionally highlight the units, okay, meter, meter per second, meter per second. So taking notes that all this must be correct as well. Okay, second. Okay, that's it. Thanks.